What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so we're feeling a little heavy. <clears throat> Just a little heavy, look at that. 16 badges. Both Kanto and Johto. I feel I feel like a champion now. Anywho. Yes, in the last episode, which was our little marathon episode, or, you know, week, and all that stuff, we managed to get all 16 badges, and now it is time for us to do some side questing, because, well, that's what this whole game entails and all that stuff. There's a lot of side quests that we have to go through, guys, and trust me, I am not too keen on capturing a bunch of legendaries, roamings, and all that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of BS. But right here, we're going to be starting off with going to Mount Mortar. That seems simple enough. We're going to be flying over there, and the funny thing is, guys, uh, something I learned, we can go straight to the Indigo Plateau, it's basically the middle portion of everything, and I mean everything from Picanto and Johto, and from there, you could fly all the way back, or you can fly all the way to either, hold on just a sec, I'm just like trying to press this button right here, so you can fly either east or west, you can go straight to the Johto region, or go straight to the Kanto region. And so, what is going to happen here, guys? We're going to go back to Ecrotech City because we got stuff to do. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff. And then, uh, yeah, talk a bit of uh, a bit of things that it's going to happen right here. So, yes, we are close. We are very, very close to the end of this walk there, believe it or not. And I've written it down, and wow, we got a lot of stuff. Just a lot of stuff ready for us. So what's going to happen right now is I am going to go off screen and I'm gonna well, I'm gonna get some Pokemon and I'm gonna switch over the Desk Movie app to the lower quality one so we can go into a cave. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back and well we got two Pokemon that will be able to actually get us through the whole Mount Mordor situation right here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, okay, Surf, Waterfall. Quite possibly Flash and Rock Climb is a move that you're probably going to be needing right here in Mount Mortar. As you guys can see, yes, we're finally in here and yes, we don't need a Flash. But we definitely do need a, uh, a butt ton of Max Repels because, well, we're going to be encountering a lot of Pokemon right here. And I got two of those. Where's the Max Repels? Holy buckets. Yes, we got seven of those. Okay, so... We should be done by seven, I guess. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take care of this whole business. So Mount Mordor, as many of you guys already know, can't go through it without waterfall. Can't get a, well, can't get a few uh, certain items without rock climb. And well, in the last episode, we finally we managed to finally get the whole uh, rock climb. And uh, well, I kind of want to see what where this leads us because eventually we're gonna be we're gonna be able to get some stuff. We're gonna be able to get some stuff that we're, yeah, that's truly needed, especially quite possibly an evolutionary stone that we would need for a good old buddy Togachek or Togapri, you know, that, that Pokemon right there. Anywho, let's go right ahead and grab this little sucker. And yes, we found ourselves an Ultra Ball. And, well, let's see. There's no rare Pokemon in particular that you guys might find right here. It's the usual stuff, you know, Golbat, Zubat, you know, the eventual. Uh, rock type Pokemon, and look at this, we found ourselves a Max Potion, and, well, let's see, eventually it will lead you to the Karate King, which, uh, Homeboy will actually give you a, or not a legendary Pokemon, but a rare Tyrogue, now, make sure to have a space into your team, just to make sure that, you know, you, you can actually grab this Pokemon right here, and look at this, we are able to climb down there, but first, let's go ahead and grab some stuff, grab some items and all that stuff, and look at this, we found ourselves a Nugget, that right there is good for the riches and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's move on ahead before anything else. And look at this. All right, so let's go right ahead and use that rock climb. We actually we actually taught that to a sand slash, so look at this. Rock climb, the most inefficient move ever. I don't know why it was there, but it's still there. So let's grab this, and we found ourselves a full incense. And I found this out quite a while ago. I don't know if many of you guys already knew, but yes, you can actually breed a a full incense with a Snorlax. That way, you can get yourself a uh, a Munchlax. It's probably the only way you can do it. Probably gonna teach you guys how to do that later on, quite possibly in like a, a separate show or something like that. I don't know. Getting some ideas, guys. So here we go, going on the rock climb yet again. And where are we going? Let's see. We should be getting those items, but let's see. 
Yeah, we're, it looks like to me we're gonna be using more than just more than just seven repels. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see. There's nothing there. Time to use our steps wisely and well, trying to get through here. So we're gonna speed it through and rock climb up. And what else can we find right here? It's a labyrinth. Oh, so we're back to the very first spot, and we're gonna be going down here. And let's see. Oh, look at this. We found ourselves a protector. If you guys don't know, protector is an evolutionary item for a Rhyhorn and, or a Rhydon. And look at this. We found ourselves a rare candy. So that right there is a big plus. Now, let's see what else we can actually find around here. Uh, I believe there will be trainers around here. So let's go. Let's see. I want to get that item, but I'm. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Here we are in Mount Mortar, and this is looking like a... Okay, so here we have a revive. And just like that, we're trying to find something else. Uh, okay, so there's nothing there. We can't really surf on this portion. And uh, there are actually three ca caves to this Mount Mortar. I believe it's the middle portion where you actually have to, you know, you actually have to, uh, what was it called? Um, you actually have to go through in order to find the Karate King. So we're going to be battling some people. And as you guys can see, we got Pokemaniac Harrison, and he's coming up with his Needle King right here. So let's go right ahead and just dominate. Like this is completely not fair. This is like probably this is probably a good spot to train Mind Duck and all that stuff. So we're gonna be using Mind Duck, even though we're like 16 levels above. And well, here we go, Waterfall for the win. And there we go. Okay, alrighty, that's how you do it. Okay, so let's see, where does this lead us? Mount Mortar, separate caves and all that stuff, and. I'd be surprised if we actually found, like, the, the 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 Karate King right here. So here we go, and there is a cave nearby, and there we go, another repel. And again, it's looking like we're not going to be, it looks, it's looking like we're going to be going off screen in order to get some more repels. Yeah, should have prepared, and uh, where, okay, so there's, okay, so there we go, found itself a revive. And, well, let's see, let's go right here. And this one will lead us towards Route 42. And we're going to be going downstairs right here. And what you'll be able to find in this area is a dubious disc, which is another held item for a Porygon 2 in order to evolve it. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to go off screen, grab myself some max repels, and we'll be back into the Mount Mortar. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back inside Mount Mortar. Now, uh, let's go right here. We found ourselves in Ether, and, uh, well, we managed to buy ourselves quite a few repels, which is always good, guys, because can suck up on that, and I tried my last, uh, escape rope. Kind of took me outside to where I was, so yeah, that, that right there was hilarious. Now, let's see, where the heck is that? Uh, there you are, the max repels. We bought ourselves more than enough to actually get through this whole area right here. And, uh, well, let's see, is there anything we need to talk about? Yes, we're, yeah, we're, we're very, very close. Well, I don't know about how close we are in here in this, in this walkthrough, but we're close to the end of this walkthrough right here. I was not kidding when I said there are a bunch of side quests that we need to do in this whole walkthrough. And a lot of it has to do with legendary Pokemon and all that stuff. Can't wait to do that. Um, let's see, eventually... Eventually, we're going to have to be going up against Red again. We're probably going to be doing Red before a certain event that needs to happen happens, you know? Or actually, we, I don't even know. Like, we're, there's certain things that happen after we defeat Red. Kind of don't see... I kind of don't see why that, that, that is. But we're going to be doing the Red episode on... Uh, as a very final episode. And, well, yeah, as always, we're going to be using Pokemon from the past in order to defeat this guy, because now we can go in straight to the Pal Park. And, yes, I will be showing you guys how to use the Pal Park, especially in Emulator on the Dismume. Should be fun to do. And, well, let's see. Oh, there's the item. I'm trying to look over that. So let's go right here and... Look at that, we found ourselves an escape rope, something that we sh probably should have gotten before. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Hmm. Trying to locate spot, and there is an individual who wants to battle us. As always, we're battling, and this guy's like, hey, you! And that's the wrong person. Okay, so let's speed this through, and he's gonna be done with a slow poke. Obviously, we got a good uh, advantage on this guy because we're super strong. Very, very strong, like bigly strong and all that crud. 
Yes, I used that word. Anywho, let's get the heck out of here. And uh, that right there is uh, the end of that. So I believe we can... Let's see. Let's go back to the very... The last spot that we were in. Of course, we're going to be speeding through this whole thing because... You know, some of it, the speed, yes, whatever. Now, last, uh, let's see, this uh, this week as well, you're going to be seeing uh, the final few episodes of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And, uh, hmm, hopefully, hopefully very, very soon, we're going to be seeing the first few episodes of our Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Yes, it's announced right here. We're doing Pokemon Platinum yet again. Am I happy about it? Not really. I mean... Pokemon Platinum was the very first game that I actually played coming back to the Pokemon games. Wouldn't say it's my I wouldn't say it's my most favorite uh, favorite of the walkthroughs or the favorite of the games, but it still has some pretty good stuff when you incorporate all the legendary Pokemon. Now, as you guys can see, we're in the let's see northeast, we're in the eastern portion of the blue or the uh, about Mortar. So what you need to do now is you need to go straight down the middle and as you guys can see, Suicune's waiting for us. That needs to happen, too. And, well, here we are in Mount Mortar. This is the location you need to go to in order to find our good old buddy, um, uh, what was his name, uh, Tyrogue. So we have all the free will right here, and, yes, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon because, well, you know, whatever. And thankfully, thankfully we're not getting attacked by any shiny Pokemon because that would have been something right there. And, well, let's see. Let's get to the waterfall, and thankfully we do have a Pokemon with waterfall now, so Mind Duck is able to do this for us. And as you guys can see, this takes us to another portion of the of Mount Mortar. Now, let's see. Let's see what can we uh, what, what, what can we find. So let's surf it over just a little bit. Okay, so this is the only portion in Mount Mortar. So we're gonna go into this cave. And as you guys can see, this is the location where you're, you're, you're going to be able to find the Karate Master. So, let's go right ahead and surf right on. And look at this. We're going to be finding some items, too. So, here we found ourselves a Max Potion. Always nice to have that. And, well, let's see. We're going to try and find everything right here. Now, I did... I don't know if I misread this, but I think you can actually find the Shining Stone right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below, guys. You guys are always welcome to comment and correct me. So let's go right ahead and go surf. And look at this. We found ourselves another rare candy, which will be big, huge when it comes to, you know, training our Pokemon and all that stuff. Now, when it comes to red, when we're about to take on them, I mean, we could battle the Elite Four like 20 times like we did in Pokemon Crystal, but you guys already know that the Elite Four gets stronger they get stronger in our second visit. I do believe that we're, we're able to go visit them right now and, uh, and battle them and all that stuff, but I, I'm i actually going to save that until after capturing the legendary Pokemon because, oh well, yeah, we st again, we got stuff to do. We got really big stuff to do. And uh, so if that's the case, then I'm probably taking, uh, like, I'm probably thinking of bringing in some Pokemon from the previous generations, kind of like, what, Fire Red, Emerald, once we're done. You know, you guys are going to get a big surprise in the next, or in, in this week's edition of Pokemon Emerald. And there should be a hidden item right here somewhere. No, nothing right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and surf. And, well, let's speed it through right here. This one will take us to this location. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. This is a very, very big maze. And... Well, there are two items right there that we can grab, and I want to grab that one, so let's see what... It, okay, so that won't take us right there, but... Okay, so we're back to where we were. Okay, so never mind. Okay, so how do we get to this part? Oh, yeah, okay, so we did have a clear clear way to getting there, and, well, our Max Repel has gone off again. Let's go right ahead and surf yet again. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. Right here... And it will lead us to this little portion. And this one is the TM-40 Aerial Ace. As many of you guys already know, it is a very good flying type move. When it comes to evasiveness and all that stuff, this move never misses. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab that item, too, before we leave. So let's go surf. And 
Mind Duck, please do the surfing. Yes, I did teach Mind Duck both HMs just for this situation. And here we found ourselves another escape rope. And, well, let's see. We could go down, but I don't want to, so let's go right here. And, well, let's see what else we can actually find. Okay, so I kind of feel as though that... Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this item. Found ourselves an elixir. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Another repel. Let's go right ahead and go for another repel. Now, let's see what we can... Let's see what kind of item this is. I kind of want it to be the Shining Stone. If it's not, then, well, we kind of wasted an episode right there. And here we found ourselves a Dragon Scale. That right there will be able to, or will be able to help your Seedra to evolve into Kingdra if you guys are looking for, you know, if you guys are looking into evolving Seedra and all that stuff. And, well, as many of you guys already know, I got that Pokemon down. We will be seeing, uh, we will be, we will be seeing uh, Torpedo pretty soon here when we go battle uh, Red. Kind of have a team ready and assembled and crap baskets. Okay, not right there. Let's see. Again, we're item hunting, and uh, yeah, this is very deceiving right here because it's so narrow. But you can pass it and grab this. And there it is. Grabbed ourselves an iron, and well, let's see what else we can actually find. Nothing right here. Let's see what we can uh, what we can actually find right here. Repel has worn off, and let's go right ahead and use this. And well, let's get the heck out of here. As I as I said before, guys, this place is all narrow, but you will be able to find some stuff. There is an item that you can get, and uh, well, that goes downstairs. But there is another item right here, and here we found ourselves a max revive. And what we're gonna do first. Let's grab that item because I don't want to miss out on that. I could this 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 could mean that we could find that, that that individual. Now we're getting a phone call. Seriously, who's calling me right now? And here we found ourselves an iron ball. Definitely a good item right there. And well, let's see. Going in here. And well, let's go right ahead and use another max repel right here. So let's go right ahead and see where this leads. Let's see, let's see, where does this... Oh, crap, Baskets, I know where we're at. I know where we're at. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, so... I, I, I kind of feel... Yeah, we returned. Crap, Baskets, okay. Ugh. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. We kind of returned back to the same old location, so I'll be right with you guys. All right, guys, so we went into the very first ladder place of uh, Mount Mortar, and there are a few items that we need to actually grab... So let's go ahead and grab this one, and that right there brings us a full restore. So let's go to the other one. I could... I have a feeling that that might be like an item that, you know, we're going to have to go through another entrance to. So let's go right ahead and put on another repel right here. Thankfully, we do have some, uh, what was it, some extra... or some uh, escape ropes just in case we need to get out of here. And this looks like a vacant spot to grab an item. Could be wrong. I'm pressing the buttons. I'm button mashing right here. God... Good gravy. Okay, no right here. And right there, no nothing. Okay, so let's go right ahead and find this guy. We need a Pokemon. We need to grab all these prize Pokemon. Look at this, we found some items. Okay, so grab this. Found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And, well, there we go. There it is. And, bam, we got our, get ourselves a Max Repel. So it looks like we're finding a whole bunch of Max stuff. There we go. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and... Good gravy. Not, I didn't want to do that. And let's go all the way back down right here. And this one will be... Let's see what it is. It found ourselves a PP up. And, well, let's see. I kind of feel... I kind of feel that there's no shining stone right here, guys. I'm probably thinking that it's somewhere else. I really do want to evolve uh, a Togepi right here. And, well, our repel has worn off. Let's go right ahead and do another repel. It's looking like we're going to be wasting all these repels right here, so let's go right here. And here we have found a Carbos. I actually thought that there was going to be a Shining Stone or a Dust Stone or, you know, something of stone. So let's go back out and grab another item right here because we forgot to grab that. So let's see. Where are we? And there is an area where you can actually... Where strength is needed. 
Kind of feel as though that... Yeah, that's a play. That's a place of importance right there. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. We're going to be going outside again. Okay, so we're back, and well, here, I believe this is where, we're, where we need to go. We need to go downstairs, and this one... I kind of... Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, so the Karate King's right there, but before we do anything, I kind of want to see something. That is exactly where we were beforehand, so what we need to do now is we need to go straight to the Karate King and, uh, you know, battle him because, you know, he thinks he's uh, pretty awesome and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and talk to the good old boy Karate King. Hey! I'm the Karate King. I train alone in here in this cave. You, battle with me. Hua! And, well... Here it is, guys. We are going to be taking on the Karate King, or Black Belt Kyo, and he's going to be coming out with a, a Hitmonlee. So, let's go right ahead and uh, overpower this guy with some pretty good moves, and, well, there goes the Mind Reader. Holy crud. Gotta love the Mind Reader. So, here we go. Let's get that extra sensory for the win. And will this do it for us? Will it? Get it? And it does. Super effective. For the win, and well, let's see who else. Who else is next right here? Okay, the next Pokemon coming out is a Hitmonchan. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. Now the fun thing about this is that you can breed Pokemon, and you can breed uh, the Tyrogue anytime you guys want in order to get all three evolutionary Pokemon. And speaking of evolutionary po uh, Pokemon, I can't even speak right. There is one Pokemon that I forgot to grab a while back. And I am thinking of getting it like right after this whole thing. So there it is. He's beaten. That's right. Okay. So let's see what you got to say. <sighs> I'm crushed. My training is still not enough. But a loss is a loss. I admit it. As proof, uh, as proof that you defeated me, I'll give you a rare fighting type Pokemon. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves a Tyrogue. Pretty awesome. Give the nickname to the Pokemon. No, we're not. And he's like, Tyrogue is a fighting type Pokemon. It evolves into a tougher Pokemon. Keep up the hard work. I'll keep training too. Farewell. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Tyrogue. Yes, you guys already know, Tyrogue is a pretty good fighting type Pokemon, and it starts out at level 10. Here's the thing, guys. It does evolve into Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, and Hitmontop. The way you evolve this Pokemon, it depends on its uh, attack and defense. As you guys can see, both its attack and defense are evened up. That means this Pokemon will evolve into, or if it were at level 19 going into level 20, this Pokemon will evolve into a Hitmontop. Correct me if I'm wrong, if your attack is higher than your defense, you're going to evolve it into a Hitmonchan. Defense over attack, it's going to be a Hitmon Lee. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But this Pokemon is a pretty rare Pokemon to actually have. So what's going to happen is we need to get the heck out of here because, well, you know, the caves really make us feel some type of way and all that stuff. So let's see. Where in the hell is it? Where in the hell is it? Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Damn. Have we really collected that many things? We have. Okay. So we're going to be using a rare candy, or not a rare candy, but an escape rope. We're going to be stepping outside and, yes... Suicune is waiting for us right there. So what's going to happen, guys, is I'm going to fast forward all the way to Goldenrod. And, uh, yeah, we'll be taking care of business right there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in Goldenrod City. Now, there is a Pokemon that we forgot to get back in the earlier episodes. That is, if we go, let's see, where is it? Oh, yeah, if we go right here, we're going to be seeing a certain someone for the first time in a while. And that happens to be Bill himself. And he's like, oh, hi, Draven. Would you do me a favor and take care of this Eevee for me? It came over when I was adjusting the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it? Yes. And there it is. We get ourselves an Eevee. Bam. A few episodes a little too late, but still, it's a Pokemon and all that stuff. No, we're not going to nickname this Pokemon just yet, but like like I said before, guys, in this, in this particular game, you can actually get yourself... All the evolutions and everything else, but it's going to be a grind grabbing the, the elemental stones since they don't really sell them right here anymore. That's why you need to take up those phone numbers. Anywho, this has been our episode, guys. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always, as patient and all that stuff. The other part, too, I do have a merch, uh, merch store right here. You know, it's down below. 
Websites right there. Yes, I do have all that stuff. Draven is uh, progressing. He is moving up in the world. Holy crud. If you guys want to get some stuff right there, there it is. You're more than welcome to support the channel. Other than that, guys, I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.